You're not going to lose your job to AI, but you're going to lose your job to someone who uses AI. AI is changing investing forever. In just a click of a single button, you can learn the ins and outs of a company in a matter of seconds. I've been building an AI grading system that grades stocks off of six pillars. Through hours upon hours of deep diving into AI mechanics, I've combined the strategy of many great investors all into one. Now, instead of myself having to look through thousands of companies, in a matter of seconds, I can find the stocks I want to buy. This system isn't just a basic set of questions. It's a set of detailed instructions that forces AI to act as a professional equity research analyst. I built a 21-page starting point for the AI to build the ultimate prompt. This is not basic level stuff. Before we get into the six pillars and how the system works, there are two key principles. One, we start with the source of truth. We look at the company's own SEC filings, the 10K and the 10Q. The AI has to use this as a primary source of information before it looks anywhere else. This ensures our foundation is solid. The second principle is structure and consistency. Every company gets graded on the same six pillars. This allows me to compare an industrial company to a tech company, apples to apples, on the core principles of a good business. The AI's final output is dropped into a spreadsheet for myself for me to easily access hundreds of companies I've graded. Okay, let's get into the six pillars now. Pillar number one is business quality. This is weighted 25% of the overall grade. This is the most important pillar. A high quality business with a strong competitive advantage, or what Warren Buffett calls it, a moat, protects it from competitive or economic downturns. This is what you hold for a decade. I don't just ask, does it have a moat? That's too simple. I've AI analyzed a business using Porter's five forces. This is a classic MBA level framework that systematically checks for threats from new customers, substitute products, and the power of the customers and suppliers. We also identify the type of moat. Is it a powerful brand like Nike's? Or is it a high switching costs, making it painful for customers to switch to new companies, such as what Apple has with its Apple ecosystem? Understanding the source of the moat tells us how durable it is. Pillar number two, it's growth profile. This is weighted at 20% of the overall grade. A great business that isn't growing will not give great returns. We need to see a clear path to expansion, but we have to be critical about where this growth is actually coming from. The AI pulls from five-year historical revenue growth and earnings per share, but investing is about the future. So the crucial next step is a pull from the forward growth estimates from analyst consensus. This gives us a picture of what the market expects. This is a pro-level check. I ask the AI to determine whether the growth is organic from innovation or selling more stuff, or is it just from acquiring another company, especially using debt? Organic growth is far more sustainable and valuable. This is what is going to find opportunities in the market for years to come. Pillar number three is financial strength. This is 20% of the overall grade. This is a company's report card. A weak balance sheet can turn a small problem into a catastrophe. We're looking for financial fortitude. We obviously look at the debt to equity ratio, but the secret is context is everything. The prompt requires AI to compare the debt to equity ratio to a specific industry average. A utility company would naturally have more debt than a tech company. Without this context, the number is useless. Forget reported earnings for a second. I care about free cash flow. Is it positive? Is it growing? This is the actual cash a company has left over to reinvest, pay dividends, or buy back stock. It's much harder to fake than earnings. Pillar number four is management and strategy. This is 15% of the overall grade. When you buy a stock, you're partnering with the leadership team. You're betting on their ability to lead, execute, and allocate your capital intelligently. The single most important thing for the management team is capital allocation. How do they actually use the cash? The prop makes the AI evaluate the track record on acquisitions, buybacks, and research and development. The ultimate report card for this is return on capital invested, or ROIC. A high and rising ROIC is a sign of an elite management team. I also have the AI scan for proxy statements to check for insider ownership. I want to see a management team that owns a significant amount of its own stock. It aligns their interests directly with the shareholders. Pillar number five is valuation. This is 10% of the overall grade. Even the best companies in the world can be a terrible investment if you're paying way too much for them. This pillar avoids you from doing that. You should never ever use only one metric, such as a PE ratio. My prompt has AI calculate a basket of different valuation metrics, 
such as price to sales ratio for growth companies, price to book ratio for asset heavy companies, and EBITDA to compare firms with different debt levels. This gives us a very well-rounded view. The key is to take the basket of metrics and compare it to other similar companies. Is this company cheap or expensive compared to others in this industry? And if so, why? Is the discount justified? And the sixth and final pillar is red flags and risks. Investing is not just about finding the upside. It's about understanding and avoiding the downsides. What could kill this investment? I tasked the AI to act as an accountant, scrutinizing the financial statements for red flags. A big one is when net income is consistently higher than cash from operations. This could be a sign of aggressive or misleading accountant practices. The AI is prompted to read the risk factors of the 10K filing to identify concentration risks. Is a company overly dependent on a single customer, product, or supplier? This is a hidden risk that could blow up a stock. And now the final part, the grade it actually gives. As you can see examples on the screen, after grading all six pillars, the AI performs a weighted calculation. The final output is a single clean line that goes right into my spreadsheet. This gives me a final weighted score out of 10. It's the ultimate summary of a massive amount of research delivered in seconds. This is how I can track dozens of companies and wait for a great business to finally hit a fair price. So now let me show you an example. I'm gonna use Google, my favorite stock, and see how it grades. So as you can see, I put the entire prompt in, and now all I'm gonna to need to do for ChatGPT is put in the name of the company. So I type in Google, and it's gonna start the searching. Okay, so it starts off business quality. It rates Google as a nine out of 10, and you can see it says a 25% weight. And you can see it goes through Porter's five forces, like I mentioned, into deep detail. And then we could go on to growth profile, rated a nine out of 10. Um, it goes through historical growth, forward looking growth, benchmarking, the quality of growth. So here, showing organic growth. Then we are to financial strength. So again, a nine out of 10, this is 20% weight. So it's looking at some core metrics, expanded ratios. Now, management and strategy, eight out of 10. It shows you everything I need to see. We go to valuation, rated a seven out of 10. It tells you why. Risk and red flags, eight out of 10, 10% weight. And then it'll give me an overall grade. So for this one, gave Google an 8.7 out of 10 and an A minus grade. It also gives a date that this was recorded, July 1st. It also gives a recommendation. Alphabet is a high quality, structurally advantaged business with strong growth cash generation, and management alignment. The stock trades at a modest discount to peer growth, but regulatory and ad dependency risks warrant caution. Overall, it's a strong long-term holding for investors with a three to five year time horizon. I created this system so I could try to figure out a way to make investing simpler for everyone. Not everyone has the time to research stocks and take hours or days to find the right company. This process is the start of building something great in investing. You still need a basic knowledge of companies and how to value them, but this process helps you. This process isn't done. I'm still learning to improve this prompt, and as AI grows, this prompt will grow. My end goal is to have this available for everyone, a spreadsheet and prompt for anyone to use. For now, this is a system I love using to find where I want to start looking. I recommend you taking what you've learned from this video and trying to write your own prompt. Start working to use AI to be your best friend in investing.